what you think is this big grand vision, right? And it looks a very specific way. So when you ask what I imagine, I imagine, yes, I'm gonna have a ton of success, as all kids do, or you don't imagine ever failing, right? If you had told me that my career would encompass not only playing, but speaking, or speaking to corporations, or conferences where so much of my job was not about what happened at the piano, but what happened because the piano got me in the room in the first place, that's the stuff I didn't see coming. And so now if you were to ask me if we could hand you back your original dream, like on a platter, would you take it? It starts with a dream, a vision, a goal. They work countless hours and have the energy to keep going. They are entrepreneurs, politicians, and leaders. They are the people who are making a difference. They are the hustlers. And this is their story. And I have to say no, because the original dream, as fabulous as it seemed at the time, the impact that I'm able to have now is so much broader uh, and so much deeper. So the career that I have now, I'm thankful that I didn't see it coming because I think I'm much more grateful for it today. I could say that it was this big, um, you know, inspirational moment, but it wasn't. Speaking was a means to an end for me because I was playing these huge concerts where I was so busy trying to impress the audience and I would come out and play the biggest pieces, the fastest pieces, and I was tired. I honestly was tired and this thing that had brought me so much passion and joy was becoming something that was strangling and hard. And so I started telling stories in between the pieces to get through the concerts. And I remember being annoyed that when I got done playing, they were just talking about my stories. And uh, the audience got a kick out of it. They thought it was inspirational. And it took me a while to realize they were saying, you know, look, we came for one thing, but we got so much more than we bargained for. That's what kind of changes when you go, I would never give up this new space that I've opened up into to go back to this limited space. So I had to change from wanting to impress audiences to saying my job is to impact them. So today I speak you know, to these Fortune 500 companies or uh, places that we see their names you know, on buildings or on products and we don't think about them as individual people who are working every day to make a difference. So I'm brought in often to talk about innovation uh, my favorite topic is purpose, and so I help people understand that purpose is not the thing that you do, but it's the thing that happens in other people when you do what you do. And so the fact that the piano gets me into these doors, but I'm then able to give that message, I'm thankful for every piano lesson, but I'm just very grateful that it's expanded beyond that and my identity is no longer locked up in the instrument, but that it allows me an opportunity to impact in a much bigger way. And it's kind of those moments that you have with the audience and people will come up to you and say, oh my gosh, you knew my company or you really understood my job um, or I have someone who's dealing with the issue that you talked about. And they feel, the, the best compliment is you, were, you came here to talk to me. You don't know it, but you were talking just to me. And to have 10 people in the same audience think that you were there just for them means that you've done your job.